On this channel, I've talked on quite a few occasions about the Anglo-Saxons. Whether it's been the brutal campaigns of the early days from the likes of Kings Penda and Cadwalla, or the societal changing conquest of William the Conqueror and the Normans. In these videos, I've often provided sources and quotations from the time to help give some historical accuracy to the topics that I'm exploring. In the videos from the early Saxon period between the 400s and the 700s, there is a common source used time and time again from one of the most important historians of the day. This historical figure is often described as instrumental to our knowledge from this time frame, and without his surviving work, our understanding of the early Saxon era would have been much more limited. He's a man who devoted his time on earth to serving his god and the teaching of his ways to many others, in addition to the research and documentation of a bygone age that us in the present day can better understand. Today on Sketchy Pass, we're going to be looking at the life of St. Bede the Venerable, the Saxon era's answer to the likes of Suetonius and Tacitus from the Roman times, and a man known as the father of English history. The majority of what we know from the life of Bede comes from the final chapters of his best known work, The Ecclesiastical History of the English People. The text having been completed in the year 731, which was stated by Bede to be his 59th year of life, suggests a birth year in 672 or 673 AD. Unfortunately, Bede gives us little information about his early life, but it's thought that he was born at or near the monastery of Monk Wearmouth Jarrow a place he was later sent to be educated by the famed abbot, Benedict Biscop. Bede worked alongside Abbot Biscop for the first seven or so years of his monastic lifestyle, largely at the beginning helping with menial day-to-day -day tasks that may have contributed to the building of another monastery near his birthplace of Jarrow. Abbot Biscop died in the year 690 after a lengthy illness and his close friend, Kjolfrith, became Bede's main teacher. However, by this time, Bede had already been working alongside Kjolfrith for many years, as was described in the 710 publication called The Life of Kjolfrith, which described a plague outbreak affecting the Jarrow area in 686. This work described that only two surviving monks were able to sing the full offices, one being Kjolfrith and the other a younger man who was almost certainly Bede himself, and the two were able to do the entire service of liturgy themselves until others were trained. A few years on from the death of Abbot Biscop, Bede was ordained a deacon by his diocesan bishop, John of Hexham, and a few years on from this in 702, he became a priest with the ordination again performed by Bishop John. At around the same time, Bede produced his first works, De Arte Metrica and De Schematibus Atropis, and would go on to write over 60 different publications during the course of his life. The most famous of his work, known in Latin as Historia Ecclesiastica Hentis Anglorum, or in English, The Ecclesiastical History of the English People, provided a complex and in-depth history of the English Christian churches and England itself in general, from Caesar's invasion of Britain in 55 BC to the present day of Bede's time. During his time at the Jarrow Monastery, Bede may have also contributed to the writing of copied Latin language Bibles, one of which possibly being the Codex Amiatinus, now held at the Laurentian Library in Florence, Italy. Alongside his work as a writer, Bede is also known to have practiced writing hymns and poetry, as well as displaying an interest in music. In the year 708, one of Bede's works caused major controversy after a group of monks scrutinised De Temoribius for committing heresy. In the publication, Bede stated that Christ was born 3,952 years after the world's creation, rather than the figure of 5,000 which was widely believed at the time, in which the main theological view back in the day followed the teachings of the six ages of the world, written in about 400 AD. It's not thought that much came of this accusation, other than irritating some of the monks at Hexham, but may have made Bede out to be a traitor in the eyes of some people, for tampering with what were believed to be set in stone facts at the time. Years later, in 733, Bede met with Egbert, the Bishop of York, likely on matters related to the See of York's elevation to Archbishopric that later took place in 735. 
It's believed Bede had intentions of meeting with Egbert again in 734, but at this point was too ill to do so, being a man in his later 50s. With his health declining further over the following year, it seemed that this meeting between Bede and Egbert would never come to fruition, as on the 26th of May 735, Bede died in his monastery at Jarrow. According to Cuthbert, he fell ill just before Easter of that year with frequent bouts of breathlessness, but almost without pain. Bede was buried at the grounds of his Jarrow monastery before his remains were moved to Durham Cathedral in the 11th century. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, Bede's work is considered fundamental to the historical timeline of England. His work, The Ecclesiastical History of the English People, is still hailed by historians to this day as a hugely important source to the understanding of the early Anglo-Saxon period. Ultimately, without this, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle and a handful of other sources, our knowledge of this time would likely have been severely limited and many names, places and events could have remained lost in the mists of time. <laughs>